Greetings, you devoted people. It's an honor to come to, through to you this morning on a telecast. Of course, I enjoy my time with you every morning. Today, I want to talk about two important words. I want to talk about focus, and I want to talk about blessings. And for our focus verse, I want to look at Psalms 121. And I want to read it from the message translation. I want to mix translations to bring out a thought. The message translation says, I look up to the mountains does my strength come from the mountains? No, my strength comes from God, who made heaven and earth and mountains. Underline that with strength. Remember when we talk about an ability to stretch yourself, to go without stopping, chase your dream, do the work of God. We're talking about strength. People who have lost strength, whose strength is drained by the problems they face. They lose energy. They sit around and do nothing. Strengthless people are problematic people. That is why we want to let you know that where does your strength come from? The strength comes from God. Verse number three, it says, he won't let you stumble. That's focus. He won't let you stumble. Your guardian God won't fall asleep. Not on your life. Israel's guardian will never doze or sleep. I like that. God will never fall asleep. He won't fall asleep when watching you. God's your guardian, right at your side to protect you. Remember, he won't stumble. He won't let you stumble. He's there to protect you. Shielding you from the sunstroke. Sheltering you from the moonstroke. Shielding you from the sunstroke. Sheltering you from the moonstroke. Protecting you from the health stroke. Protecting you from the strike of the enemy. That's what God does. God guards you from every evil. Tagati evil, financial evil, friends evil, jealous people evil. God guards you from every evil. He guards your, every, your very life. He guards you when you leave. He guards you when you return. When you go out, he guards you. He protects you. When you come back home, he protects you. He guards you now. He guards you always. I like that. Now as I close, I want to talk about giving you blessings and I'm speaking blessings over you. Number 6, 24 to 26 says, The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his, shine, his face shine upon you. May he be gracious to you. The, love, the Lord lift up his countenance upon you and give you peace. Titus 3.15 says, All who are with me greet you. Greet those who love us in the faith. And grace be with you all. Amen. Colossians 4.18 says, Grace be with you. Amen. Thessalonica 5.28 says, The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with you. Greet one another. Peace to you, all you are in Christ Jesus. So you can say grace, peace. These are words, that word peace, Karen, which means nothing broken, nothing missing. I speak a blessing upon you. I please the grace of God, that which you do not work for, may it come for you. Not everything you have, you have asked for or you have worked for. May the gracious God give you grace to give you what you don't deserve in spite of you, outside of you, not because of you, but because of his goodness. The grace of the Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you always. That Holy Spirit may never leave you, may he continue to guide you, keep you and protect you. Jude 1, 24, 25, now to him who is able to keep you. May God keep you all the time, keep you from evil, keep you from everything that is going to break your heart, break your life, destroy you. That now to him was able to keep you from stumbling. And to present you faultless before the presence of his glory with exceeding joy. To God our Savior who alone is wise, be glory and majesty, dominion and power. Both now and forevermore. Amen. Hebrews 13, 20, 21. Now may the God of peace who brought, you up, uh, brought up our Lord Jesus Christ from the dead. The great shepherd of the sheep through the blood of the everlasting covenant. Make you complete in every good work to do his will. Working in you what is pleasing in his sight through Jesus. To him be glory forever. May your focus be on God. Upon his ability to keep you, to protect you. May he cover you. May he heal you. May he save you. May God be to you everything you've ever thought about. May his goodness, may he never allow you to stumble. May you, as you go out and come in, may God be your guardian. Be your protection. Be your blessing. May he be to you whatever his plan for decided to be to you. 
May you receive every blessing that has your name on it. May you never suffer. May you enjoy his goodness. May you sleep in peace. May he give you rest from our target and enemies. May God give you peace and bless you. Father, we thank you for the goodness of God that we receive today in Jesus' name. Amen.